Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today is a big day in the field of generative AI as Google has announced its new Gemini model. The Gemini 2.0 Flash model is now out for developers and everybody to use. What's different now is Gemini 2.0 Flash is much more powerful and much more capable than the previous 1.5 Flash model. It delivers better performance with new multimodal outputs and a more intelligent native tool use. Gemini 2.0 is Google's most capable AI model yet. Building on the success of Gemini 1.5 Flash, Flash 2.0 is twice as fast as 1.5 Pro while achieving a stronger performance. Developers can now use the Gemini 2.0 Flash experimental model inside of Google AI Studio. Since we're talking about updates, Google has also introduced two new features instead of Google AI Studio. As you can see on the left, we have something known as Stream Real Time and Starter Apps. So this tutorial or this video is going to be focusing on all the new updates around Google AI Studio, Google AI and Gemini. So let's dive into the video. So we're going to start off by creating a new prompt here and you can see on the right side if I select the model, I can now select the Gemini 2.0 Flash experimental model and um, I think I'm going to be using the compare mode feature. And just to let you know, if you have not used Google AI Studio before and this is your first video, you can just check out a tutorial link that's in the description that talks about, that just shows you how to get started with Google AI Studio, setting up things, and then you can hop on back to this video. Additionally, if you're new to the compare mode feature in Google AI Studio, there's a deep dive video on that too. You can check that out. Uh, for now, we're going to be comparing the Gemini 1.5 Flash and the 2.0 Flash model just to see the difference between the outputs that both of the models give. So I'm going to be giving it a scenic view and I'm going to be asking both of the models to describe what's happening in the video or in the image and I want to understand the difference between the responses, the response time, token count, etc. As you can see, there's a huge difference between the 1.5 flash output and the 2.0 flash model output. There's a huge difference where you can see the token counts much bigger. It has taken a few seconds here and there, but it's given a beautiful output by giving it, giving an overall feeling, key elements, overall impression, etc. So you can see the 2.0 flash model could perform better. So that is still subjective to the use case that you're using. If you were to compare the same one with the 1.5 Pro model and I would want to give this again, I'm just going to delete this. I'm just going to clear the chat and I'm going to be giving it the same response where I want to compare the 1.5 Pro model and the 2.0 flash model where I'll give it the same image again and I'm going to be, I'm going to be asking it to describe it in detail. And you can see there's a huge difference between the speed of the 1.5 Pro model and the 2.0 Flash model where you can see this took about 9.1 seconds whereas the 2.0 Flash model just took 5.9 seconds. So you can see the difference between both the models and to, if, if you want to experiment more you can hop on to Google AI Studio, select the models that you want and use the compare mode and uh, find out a model that's appropriate for you. While we're at it, let's look at the next set of features that Google AI Studio has introduced. So if you go to the stream real time section, you can now actually talk to Gemini using your microphone. You can uh, show your webcam or you can even share your screen and ask Gemini what's happening on the screen. So let's start out by talking to Gemini where uh, I'm going to be selecting the 2.0 flash model. I want the output format to be audio. So if I am giving my Google or giving this prompt a input in audio, I would expect an output in audio too. Uh, I don't want to adjust the voice or anything for now. And I'd like grounding. If you want, you can uh, enable code execution too. And you can even select a different voice. So I'm going to be clicking on talk to Gemini. And in a few seconds, it will connect. Hi, Gemini. How are you doing? Thanks. I am doing great. Thanks for asking. How can I help you today? 
could you tell me more about the Gemini 1.5 Pro model? Certainly, I can provide some information about the Gemini 1.5 Pro model. It's a multimodal AI model developed by Google, capable of handling various types of data, like text, audio, images, and video. It's known for its long context window, which means it can process large amounts of information at once. It is designed to be efficient and perform well across many different tasks. Do you have any specific questions about it? No, thank you. Okay, is there anything else I can help you with? No, you can close the audio stream. Understood. Have a good day. And here you can see when I click on stop recording, it stops the streaming. And here you can see we have actually had a live conversation with one of Gemini's models and it was a input given in the form of an audio and you receive an output in the form of an audio too. So this is how you can use the stream real time feature here. And if you want to adjust the voices and stuff, you can even do that too. I'm just going to be clicking on start a new stream, clear the new stream. And I'm going to be uh, showing it some images from my webcam. I'm going to be giving it some text in Hindi and I'm going to be asking Gemini to translate that to English. Additionally, I'm going to be giving it a live mathematics problem and I want to see the capabilities whether it's able to solve this particular problem or no. So we're going to be clicking on show Gemini your webcam and it starts. So that's me and I'm going to be showing it some text in Hindi. So I'm going to switch on the audio. Can you translate this into English? Sure, the translation of that is, what is the capital of India? Also, can you answer this question? Yes, the capital of India is New Delhi. Can you give me an output in Hindi? Sure, the output in Hindi is Bharat ki Rajdhani Nai Delhi hai. And here you can see, we have actually given it a Hindi sentence and it's translated that and we, we, we had a conversation in that language too. The second example that I'm going to be using is a mathematics problem to see whether it can actually solve real problems. So I'm going to be clicking on camera. What do you see on my webcam? I see a drawing of a right triangle with one side labeled 5, another side labeled 7 and the hypotenuse marked with a question mark. How would I go about calculating the missing value? You can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the missing value. Can you please do the calculations for me and give me the final value? Okay, using the Pythagorean theorem, the calculation is 5 squared plus 7 squared equals c squared. That's 25 plus 49 equals 74. The square root of 74 is about 8.60. So the missing value is approximately 8.60. And here you can see we gave Gemini a live mathematics problem and it's able to solve it with ease. You can give them more complex problems and Gemini should be able to answer them successfully. So these are the new features that Google AI Studio has released that involve stream real time where you can share your screen, you can even share your webcam. If I were to share my screen, if I select my current screen and I'm going to be going. Okay. I understand that you would like to select your current screen. Can you tell me more about what you are trying to do? Can you tell me more about the highlighted text on my screen? Certainly. The highlighted text on your screen says build with Gemini 2.0 flash. This text is from an article about the new Gemini 2.0 flash model for developers. It seems to be promoting the idea that developers can use this tool to build applications. And here you can see we even actually shared our screen and it's able to give me a response based on what's on my screen. So this is how we can basically use the different features in stream real time. Now let's go to the starter app section where we look at different Gemini capabilities. So we're going to be starting out by looking at the spatial understanding one where I'm going to be uploading a 2D photo of a living room and I'm going to be asking about all the items and the positions of those particular items. So I'm going to be clicking on upload an image, go to my desktop, I'm going to be selecting my living room.jpg, I'm going to click on open, I'm going to say give me the 2D bounding box, show me the positions of all the items, 
and you click on send and in, in a couple of seconds it will give you a response where it gives you all the dimensions of each of the objects that are inside of the image you can see there's a painting you can see there's a fireplace there's a sofa there's a table there's vases here there's a chair there's a window here there's a chandelier so this is how we can use this particular feature where we can actually fetch details from your images so you can even select the 2.0 flash model or the 1.5 flash model and if you want the code you can click on the view github link which will take you to the uh, github repository where there are all the codes available for the spatial understanding the next one that we're going to be taking a look at is the video analyzer one which is one of my favorites because i've been doing this for my youtube tutorials whenever i have to fetch the timestamps for the tutorials i upload it to this to uh, google ai studio and i ask it to give me the timestamps for the video that i can actually use so i'm going to be clicking on upload i'm going to give it I'm going to upload a file here i'm going to click on browse i'm going to be selecting uh, the cooking video so this is a man cooking chicken fried rice in a wok it's a video from mumbai so i'm going to be uploading that and i'm going to be just telling it to give me a response or give me a paragraph about what is there in the video so if i click on generate in a couple of seconds it should give me a detailed description of what's happening in the video you can see the video shows a person cooking fr fried rice in a wok they're adding eggs and it gives you the entire description now if i want key moments in the video i'm going to click on generate i want bullet points as to the time codes at what second what's happening inside of this particular video gemini can do that for you too and you can see it's telling me uh, eggs are added vegetables are added the rice is added the sauces are added and fried rice is cooked so this is how you can use the video analyzer to fetch key moments timestamps if you want to use basically custom ones, you can even add a custom prompt here and you can generate a response for that too. And if I go back to the starter apps, you can even click on the map explorer that allows you to look at the Google maps and you can just explore any place on the planet right now. So if you want to go somewhere cold, you can tell it there and it takes you to that particular place and you can even have custom prompts. You can put in images and ask it to find this place in this locality. And that's how you can basically use the, uh, maps analyzer starter app inside of google ai studio so this is all for this video i hope you have got a basic understanding or basic start of what's new with google ai studio looking at the gemini 2.0 flash model additionally the stream real-time feature that looks at talking to gemini sharing your webcam sharing your screen we looked at starter apps where we can use spatial understanding video analyzing and even map exploring I'll be leaving all the resources in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share, and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.